What's up, everybody? I'm Evil Heaven. We are here on Project Cars 2 to have a little fun in that uh, Falcon Tires M6 GT3 race car. We are just going to be running uh, North Shalivan today. Hopefully, we don't crash on cold tires in the beginning. But we are here today just to have a little fun with this. So I had a lot of fun doing the 12-hour Sebring race with my friends and my brother. It was a lot of fun to uh, do the endurance race, and a lot of you guys seem to enjoy it on the stream and stuff like that. So should I do more endurance race streams is what I'm trying to figure out. I know this month is uh, the Long Beach race for uh, GTLM race cars and stuff like that and uh, that's only an hour and 40 minute race so I could actually do that one myself so I'm thinking about doing a full um, Long Beach race by myself here on the channel so we do have our tablet set up here for Project Cars 2 and we are on sequential um, just like the car would really be so we're going to run uh, North Schleiven and see if we can't have a little fun with this uh, M6 right now but my question is do you think I should do some more of the uh, streams of endurance racing. I'm just waiting for my tires to heat up. Looks like they're getting pretty warm right now. So we're gonna go here and see how we do here at North Live and in Project Cars 2. Project Cars 2 definitely not a very easy game to play. We're gonna see how the wheel feels. Not sure um, what kind of settings we need to change or anything like that. Definitely gonna get with some of the TUS guys that I know play Project Cars 2 to see if I can't get a better uh, feel for the wheel here so uh well looks like we're just gonna go for it I do like the hood view here in Project Cars 2 so now we are on full send right now the wheel does feel pretty good right now and we seem to be having a decent amount of grip with our tires being warmed up already I didn't actually know those but that they would wear warm up like that so so if you guys play project cars 2 let me know down in the comment section down below what kind of wheel settings or tuning settings you found help make the cars handle a little bit better because I know for a fact that this game gets very sketchy when you're trying to drive it and uh, it gets very twitchy at times so but definitely a game that I would like to start playing more of it's definitely fun for the racing aspects, especially the endurance racing. And uh, I wanted to make sure my audios were too loud because couldn't tell if it, it was too loud of a car or not. So it's definitely fun for the endurance racing, being able to do multi-class racing and stuff like that and be able to see what place you are in your class like GTD or GT3 or LMP and stuff like that. And you know, have that aspect of all the other cars on the track as well to give that full immersion feel. So the wheel actually feels pretty good right now actually here on North Schleiven. We're not doing too bad actually. We're uh, handling this track pretty well for first time back here on Project Cars 2. I thought we'd be having a little bit of issues, but we are not almost over uh, Shot that. So if you guys would like to see more endurance streams, like I said, there's a lot of the endurance in the IMSA series that I like that are hour and 40 minutes, two hours and so, stuff like that. Not the big 24 hours or 12 hour races, but you know, the shorter ones that I can actually stint out myself and do endurance race myself. So if you guys want to see live stuff like that, maybe come in, chat, hang out, you know, for an endurance race with, you know, oh, pit strategies and everything like that, you know, I'd be very very interested to hear what you guys think uh, I am planning on doing another full endurance race with my brother and friends we're thinking maybe a 12 hour of Bathurst before we hop right into say a 24 hours of Daytona race which we do want to do and the other reason I was thinking about using Project Cars 2 not only did you have the multi-class races you have day and night cycles so that there alone is Oh, 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 that was the first mess up. Wasn't too, too bad. But we have the day and night cycles here in uh, 
project cars too, unlike Forza, that we can't. And another thing about the timed races that bothered me in Forza, my steering wheel is not straight. We did some damage to this car. Another thing that bothers me about the non day and light, not only day and light, we can't see our lap times. When we do a timed race, it goes by distance. We can't actually see our physical lap times. And that was actually a bothersome for us because we couldn't see if we were driving faster or slower through certain parts of the track. This wheel is definitely not straight. I know you guys can see like this is straight right now. My wheel is not straight. We couldn't see if we were running faster or slower through certain sections and stuff like that because we couldn't get a lap time. Here in Project Cars 2, you can. Yeah, of course the driving is more simulated in here and it would take a little more skill, but it could make for a very interesting, uh, interesting endurance race with uh, having multi-class so there's always be cars that are passing us and passing them and uh, the damage and the characteristics of the cars are more realistic so it'll be more of a more of a very well simulated uh, endurance race as much so as like I would say going to a set of Corsa on the PC or uh, iRacing or Race Room or R Factor 2 which I would like to start doing some Assetto stuff but like I said gotta get the PC done first um, need to get that done but there's some other things like you know my wedding coming up here in a you know almost <laughs> getting close to the two month mark and uh that comes first before building a, another gaming pc but um so i'm trying to see what i can use on my console for doing endurance races and this game just seems to be the most realistic aspect that we have because it, for the tracks that i want to do like bathurst and daytona Assetto doesn't, Assetto Xbox doesn't have that. And uh, this will probably give the best, you know, bang for the uh, bang for the buck when it comes to simulating an endurance race. Well, it's got our BMWs, it doesn't have the new M8s, but it's got the M6s, and I'm okay with that. And we are just actually having a pretty, uh, pretty solid run here given the uh circumstances of uh my wheel not being straight and having some apparent suspension damage i'm gonna tweak my wheel settings a little bit down maybe to give the wheel a little bit more of a feel i don't know if i like that it does feel a little bit better though We are running full authentic on our fan attack. I think we're gonna go back. Ooh! Don't try adjusting your wheel settings while you're driving, because this will happen. Alright. We're gonna go back to three, to where we were. There we go. So, other than. Turn that off before I accidentally hit the buttons. Other than that mild crash, not doing too bad here. Oh, I know we're sliding. Definitely be very curious to give Bathurst a try because I know Bathurst is one of those tracks that is. Uh, oh, don't hit, don't hit the uh, grass. Bathurst is definitely one of those tracks that you need to stay focused on, especially through that back section, through the downhill. But I think I'm definitely getting a feel for Project Cars 2. And I feel like I will be very tempted to run that Long Beach endurance race myself here on Project Cars 2. I have to decide when I want to do that. If I want to do it during the week or do it on a weekend. I could do it on a week after work because, like I said, it's only an hour and 40 minute race. It is next weekend, not this coming week, the weekend after. But who else is excited for Formula Drift this weekend? Round one at Long Beach. Super excited. It's kind of why we're in the Falcon Tires M6. Because uh, Falcon Tires and, you know, drifting, big thing. Yeah, this wheel's not straight at all. <laughs> so make sure you guys follow me on Instagram and Twitter, all which are found in the description box below. So I just wanted to, you know, come out here, have a little fun here on Project Cars 2, and uh, get your guys' take on what you guys think about doing more endurance race streams and stuff like that because I had a lot of fun doing it and I, I do enjoy track racing just as much as I enjoy drifting and uh, having my 
friends over and my brother over and you know teaming up to do an endurance race was a lot of fun so even with a crash eight minutes oh doctor too much so not too too bad so like i said make sure you follow me on instagram and twitter all of which sounds good down in the description box below let me know your thoughts on everything i talked about here today down in the comment section down below i'd be very curious like i said if you guys do play project cars 2 and you want to maybe uh get in some online sessions i know a member of uh the tus the basically the tus race manager uh muddy gamer is uh a big guy in Project Cars 2. He runs a lot of streams and does a lot of open lobbies. Going to be trying to get into some of the lobbies and stuff with him here very soon and do some uh, do some racing and have a little fun because th I bought this Fanatec wheel not only for the precision and drifting and driving, but for the fear realism when it comes to racing. And I feel like I need to utilize all the racing games I can with this before I build a PC. So, as always, I uh, thank you guys for watching. I appreciate all the support from you guys. Make sure you subscribe if you're not a subscriber. Make sure you tap that bell notification if you guys want that notification squad status. I do appreciate that. That'll also help my videos in the YouTube analysis for views for to get my videos out for other people to see. So, until next time, guys, i like to thank you guys for watching. I'm Evil Rabbit, and I am actually having a blast in this M6. Oh, and I will see you guys next time. Cut. Oh shit. Oh shit. Uh, we dead.